Good afternoon everyone. This is Rama welcoming you to join me in the study of the book of Isaiah, Prophet Isaiah of Old Testament, chapters 56 and 57. Chapter 56 is full of blessings, blessings for all nations. God is exhorting through Isaiah and tells us, Be just and fair to all. Do what is good, do what is right, for I am coming soon to rescue you and to display my righteousness to you. This is a promise of blessings. I will bless those who choose to do what pleases me. Let me question myself, does what I do please God? Is whatever I do is acceptable in the sight of God? Let me question ourselves, because God's word says, I am coming soon to rescue you and to display my righteousness to you. I will bless those who choose to do what pleases me. And I come to bless those who commit their lives to Jesus Christ, Son of God, the Savior. Within the walls of my house, which is a memorial, I shall give you a name, the name I give you, an everlasting name. I shall give you an everlasting name. I, it will ne never disappear. I will bless them who commit themselves to the Lord, who serve him and love his name, who worship him and who hold fast to my covenant. We are given a new name. By my name, he has called me and he gave me this commandment. I will bless them who commit themselves to the Lord. I will bless them who serve the Lord and who love the name Jesus Christ, who worship the Lord and who hold fast to my covenant. I will bring them to the holy mountain of the Lord, the holy mountain of Jerusalem. I will fill them with the joy in my house of prayer. Holy mountain of Zion, the house of the Lord, in the house of prayer, where God shall fill you and fill me with joy everlasting. I will accept the suffer, uh, I will accept the offerings, I will accept your sacrifices, I will accept you as my child, and I shall bless you. God speaks to you today. My temple will be called a house of prayer for all the nations. In the Isaiah chapter 57, there is promise of forgiveness to our sins when we repent. God's forgiveness towards the those who re repent and return to him. Chapter 57 verse 14 says, Rebuild the road. Clear away the rocks and stones and the pebbles. So my people return from captivity, from the slavery to the sin. We return to salvation in Christ. And make a road, make clear the way, clear the path as my children return unto me. The high and the lofty one who lives in eternity, the holy one, says this. I live in the high and holy place with those whose spirits are contrite and humble. I restore the crushed spirit of the humble and revive the courage of those who repent 
in their hearts. Courage is promised unto us. who repent for our misdoings. I will heal them and I will lead them. Healing is under the wings of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ, our living God. I will comfort them who mourn. What else we need? Comfort to those who mourn. Healing to those who suffer. Guidance for those who seek Him. Bring the words of praise to the lips of... I shall bring the words of praise to the lips of the people. May they have abundant peace both near and far. There is a promise of peace. There is the promise of peace and Joy, God shall fill your hearts with joy who turn to Him, who repent and turn to Him. Your prayers are accepted, acceptable and by, to me. You are the chosen one. I accept your sacrifices. I answer your prayers. I shall guide you and I shall heal you from your sufferings, from your pain. Let's pray unto God. Heavenly loving Father, bless us that we shall be just and fair to all. Strengthen us that we shall do what is good and what is right as you rescue us, Father. You gave us a name, an everlasting name. We are your servants, Father. We commit ourselves to you, you Lord of heaven's armies. We commit our lives to Jesus Christ, our Savior. We are your servants. We serve you and we love the name of Lord Jesus Christ. That name which never puts us to shame. Jesus Christ is the answer to any problematic situation in our lives as we commit our lives unto you, Father. Bless us with joy in our hearts. Guide us. Give us guidance. Heal us, Father, because healing is under your wings. You come with healing under your wings and heal those Heal us, and my prayers are acceptable unto you, Father. The, our sacrifices are acceptable in thy sight. Bless us that our prayer requests are acceptable in thy sight. Bless us all. All the viewers fulfill their heart's desires and put a new song on their lips and fill their mouths with laughter and joy. In Jesus' precious name, and in the power of the Holy Spirit, Father, I pray. Amen. Amen. Bye-bye for now. Thanks for being with me through our, our journey through, until the chapter 57 of the book of Isaiah. See you next with the next video. Bye-bye for now.